Now here in this video we are going to discuss about your Linux file systems. So you know about the Linux file system, you might be using into your Windows as well. You might have heard about your FAT file systems, NTFS file systems. So those file systems are used into the Windows. Even in Linux we have different kind of file systems. But before we start with your file system, first I would like to introduce the hard disk. How generally it is displayed into the your Linux operating system as well as we are also going to see how we can use the hard disk, how we can create the partitions into it and then while formatting which are the file systems do we have. So let us start with your file systems. Very first, if I have connected a disk and if I want to check what disk I have and what is the user's page of my disk, I can use the command du. So du will show me who the hard disk which I have connected, how many partitions you have and what are the disk space left. So I can check the free spaces by using the du command. So it will show you du. Same way we can also use disk free that is df command. It will show me the free space of the disk along with the partitions generally we have created. df space hyphen k will be showing the same output into the kilobytes. Same way if you want in megabytes you can give df space hyphen m. The next we have that is mounting of file system. Now if suppose we have already created a partition and we want to use those particular partition or we can say you have connected your DVD but it doesn't get mounted into your media. So you manually have to mount it. So for mounting it we have a command called as mount. Mount is nothing but we are locating our devices into a particular directory so that we can use it. Like in Windows a partitions you create into the disk but into the console or into the portal you can get that in my computer you will find there is c drive d drive e drive you have those partitions created so microsoft generally provide you everything spoon feed it and everything you get on the desktop itself but in linux you don't do that in linux when we create a partitions we have to manually assign a space to that partition from where we are going to store the data into it means in short i can say we are going to create our c drive and d drive so here we are going to talk about those mount places. So all the devices are needed to be mounted or allocated or defined a place in a location from there can be accessed manually or can be used for storing your data. The syntax which we use that is mount and then we need to define which device we need to mount and then along with the space you need to define where you are going to mount it. In short mount the source device and the destination path where you need to mount. So this is the mount command which we are going to see into the terminal letter. Again if I am talking about the mount, if suppose you have mounted and done with the partition or if you have mounted and done with the device, now if I want to you mount it, if I want to disconnect my DVD or if I want to remove my DVD, I cannot use or remove those particular DVD unless I you mount it because once you mount it, it will show that device is still busy. So if I want to release it, I, used, I have to give this command called as umount. So umount it will do just umounting the device. So here you need to define the command umount space either source which we have used while mounting or the destination which we have used while we mounting the device. So you can define either the source either the destination while you mounting the device from your terminal. Mount along with the type of mounting. Now as I said you can mount different kind of devices, you can mount different kind of partition. So what the partitions are, you need to specify during the mounting as well. Like along with the devices we can also mount some of the shared directories. We can also mount the directories which we have stored on the FTP. So while mounting we need to specify which kind of partition do you have. So we can go for hyphen T. So mount space hyphen T, it will, you need to specify a particular file system you are going to use so f can be used or hyphen t can be used to specify it for example if i want to create a partition or mount a partition which is an ext3 or ext4 so i will be defining ext4 and then the source path from where i'm going to mount the partition or which device i'm going to mount and the destination path where i'll be locating it so just a mount command we can use but this I am adding it into it that is hyphen t type of the file system. Along with that we can also use the u mount for u mounting any kind of file system. So there is no special command for u mounting 
a particular file system which we have specified into a mount. So even though it is an NFS, even though it is EXT3 for a device or even though it is any particular removable devices, U mounting is same. Either U mount, source or destination we can use for U mounting it. So let us check into the terminal how we can create the partition, how we can U mount it and which are the different type of file systems we do have into Linux operating system.